My name is Jeff Herman with the law firm of Herman, Mermelstein and Horowitz. I'm here today to announce the filing of another lawsuit against the Archdiocese of Miami. This lawsuit deals with allegations against a priest who was celebrated in the history of the Archdiocese of Miami, a father, Ramon O'Farrell. And this street has actually been named after, behind me, uh, Father O'Farrell. The allegations in this lawsuit are that uh, Alejandro Mora, who is with me here today, is from Nicaragua. Alejandro was abused by a priest in Nicaragua. And he alleges in this complaint that when he came to Miami at 15 years old, he saw refuge and counseling in his church, St. Michael the Archangel. That is where he met Father O'Farrell. He met Father O'Farrell, he asked him for counseling and for help in dealing with the pain he had encountered as a result of being sexually abused previously. According to the allegations here, Father O'Farrell took Alejandro, 15 years old, into the confessional where he, he talked to him and then invited him into the rectory for further counseling. Once in the rectory... You say all that over again. Just because of the flame going over. Oh yeah, sure, sure. I'll just go back a sentence there. Uh, the allegations in the lawsuit are that uh, Alejandro met Father O'Farrell when he went to the church, St. Michael the Archangel, to get counseling for the sexual abuse he had encountered when in Nicaragua. Father O'Farrell took him into the confessional where they discussed different things, including the abuse, and then O'Farrell invited him into the rectory. Once in the rectory, Father O'Farrell gave Alejandro, who was 15 years old, some orange juice, he put some alcohol in it, gave him a couple drinks, and then he sexually assaulted him. You take your sunglasses off. Yeah. Father O'Farrell is, is known in Miami as a anti-Castro priest who was very vocal. What we didn't know is we just actually learned that he actually was arrested in 1993 as a result of being accused of giving false testimony in a criminal case on behalf of a, of a perpetrator, a, 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 an alleged criminal, who accused Father O'Farrell of giving this false testimony in exchange for sexual favors. That man was 19 years old at the time. So with me today is Alejandro, who's very brave for stepping forward. Um, I want to add that it's important when victims are brave enough to step forward that this is the best way, the best way to protect children in the future is to expose predators and those institutions that co cover for them. Also with me today is Barbara Blaine from SNAP, who did want to make a few brief comments. But first, I'm going to let Alejandro come back up to the mic and talk. Alejandro? Uh, well, the reason why I have come Just forward... Tell me your name first. Oh, my name is Alejandro Mora, and the Spell reason... Uh, is A-L-E-J-A-N-D-R-O, last name Mora, M-O-R-A. And the reason why I have decided to come forward is because I want to protect any any future victims that may that may you know that any prospect victims that may be out there, and also to tell anybody who was abused by uh, Father O'Farrell that they're not alone. There has been other people also that have been abused. Um, actually, um, I was seeking help when I came to Father O'Farrell, and he did quite the opposite. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Do, um, anyone have any questions? Yeah, um, when all this occurred, what was going through your mind? What, you knew it wasn't right. I well, I came here. I came to him for help, and I explained to him what had happened in Nicaragua, and he told me that that he I looked very shaken up, and that he, I needed to uh, come down, and. I thought that he was going to help me figure out what, you know, what was going on, give me some counseling. However, instead of doing that, he got me drunk and then he abused me. And you, and you just were too scared to report him? Well, I don't know if you know that, but when victims of sexual abuse are, are, are abused, it, it's, it's almost like you're powerless. You just mind just wanders. They, they, you know, you just, it's like it leaves your body, you're just not you. And you realize it until afterwards that what happened, and then um, for that reason, I have decided to um, I decided to not seek any more help from the church, and left the church for good. And, and before we move on to the next question, I'm gonna let him get, just repeat what he said in Spanish. Okay, la razón por la cual mi nombre es Alejandro Mora, 
Y la razón por la cual estoy aquí es para denunciar un, un, un caso de abuso sexual perpetrado por el padre Juan Ramón Ferro, el cual su nombre está en esta rótula en la calle. Este, cuando yo vine acá de Nicaragua, yo había sido abusado por un sacerdote, Ariel Ortega, uh, el cual now, ahora es un monseñor en la Arquidiócesis de Teleón. Y vine aquí a Estados Unidos y luego este, vine a buscar ayuda con respecto a lo que había pasado en Nicaragua, porque eso me afectó mucho psicológicamente. Um, y el padre O'Farrell, en vez de ayudarme, más bien también me abusó. Uh, cuando vine a él y hablé con él, este, me ofreció algo de tomar, me, me dio una bebida alcohólica cuando yo era un menor y luego me abusó. Alejandro, ¿qué tan difícil fue para usted porque después de todos estos años en que decide eh, hablar y decidir por su pasión? What do you mean? Oh, the, uh, the, the reason, okay, what is the reason why I, it took so long to come out? You can answer. Okay. Um, la razón por la cual eso, esto pasó es porque es muy difícil este, contar esta historia. Este, es muy difícil por, por, este, por la, el, el, la gente te juzgue o la gente te, te malinterprete o, o, o también da mucha vergüenza. Da, hay muchas mucha cosas por las cuales uno no... No, de, no decide hacerlo en ese tiempo. Hay mucho miedo. En ese tiempo estaba aplicando para, para um, asilo político. Pensaba que eso podía afectar mi caso si la policía no me creía. Este, esa es una de las razones también. Y la razón más que psicológica y todo eso. ¿no? Pero ahora quise salir a, a, a la luz porque a lo mejor hay otras personas que estuvo, estuvieron en el mismo lugar que yo. Y, para que sepan que ellos tampoco están solos. Okay, and then, and then, uh, okay, okay. Uh, what you're saying that um, in Spanish that uh, the reason why I came out is because I came out and spoke in public is because um, I want for all the victims that may have been abused to know that they were they are not alone, and also for the for the um, people in Nicaragua to know that they have a pedophile named Monsignor Ariel Ortega there that may be putting kids in danger and may have, in the last 20 years, put a lot of people through the same thing that he put me through. Okay, and then let's um, Barbara give it a Okay, so. it took me so long to come out because Um, there's a lot of shame involved in this. Uh, I, you know, you don't want to just come out and tell people that this happened to you, especially when you're a, a male. Um, and this has got so many uh, psychological issues that I decided to come ahead and, 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 and just say it. Because there might be other victims that may be in the same case that they're, they're afraid to come out and they might have had the same problem that I had. And also to protect the prospective victims in Nicaragua that may be in danger by this priest um, or may have been abused by this priest in the last 20 years. Okay. Barbara, I'm going to let Barbara from SNAP want to mention, say something. My name's Barbara Blaine, B-L-A-I-N-E, and I'm president of SNAP, Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests. And I think it's time for Archbishop Wensky to step up and do the right thing. There is no reason why Father O'Farrell's name is on a street sign and why he's being held out as a hero in a city when Archbishop Wensky knows of allegations against him. It's time for Archbishop Wensky to come clean. He says that he's committed to the bishop's policy, um, which has a commitment to openness and transparency, yet he does everything in his power to keep the dirty secrets hidden. We say, what's, what's in those files that, uh, that Archbishop Wensky is holding so close? Why won't he expose the truth? The truth is what will enable victims to find healing and it will protect children. It's time for the secrecy and the cover up to end. And we, we, we want Archbishop Wensky to come clean now and we want him to do all he can to have this sign honoring Father O'Farrell removed. I'm holding photos of 
children who were sexually abused by priests. All of the photos are people who are adults today and they have given permission for their pictures to be used and um, so they're, they're all members of SNAP. SNAP is Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests. And our website is snapnetwork.org. Snapnetwork.org. Yes. Yeah, any more? Gen well, we can take specific questions now. So, all righty, thank you, everybody. Thank you.